With schools on a break, the junior golf development powered by the nomads of Swaziland took center stage at the Royal Swazi Golf Club. With about over 20 children participating, it seemed to be a record number in terms of attendance. Um, Kevin, we see junior development program here at the Royal Swazi. Um, can you tell us more about the whole uh, program of the juniors? Um, about five years ago, Nomads, Nomads uh, Club of Swaziland, six years ago they were formed. And, um, and then after about a year or so, part of the responsibility or part of the uh, foundation of, of Nomads is to further the game of golf. Uh, the other one is to, to help people that are less fortunate than ourselves mm -hmm. and also to network and play golf together and enjoy our company. But as far as furthers of golf is concerned, um, nothing really was happening in the Kingdom at that time. I think the, the, was too, you know, the SGU was a bit strapped and things like that. So we approached the Swaziland Golf Union okay. to, to take over the, the furthers of golf in Swaziland under their umbrella, of course, under their auspices. And so that's what we've been doing for the last four years. And it's very, very close to our hearts to, to encourage the game of golf in Swaziland particularly with the juniors to start with and then to carry on with ladies and also in the future with, with handicapped golf players. Okay. But the, the big thing is to is to further the golf in Swaziland and to that end we have got three coaches that go out through, throughout Swaziland okay. um, coaching at schools and in various areas of Swaziland and we're trying to extend that uh, as far as we can. We do get assistance from the Royal and Ancients um, Towards that, but obviously we we need quite a lot of money to be able to do what we need to do. We probably need about 500,000 Mlangeni a year okay. in order for us to carry out our programs. Apart from the coaching, we also have competitions like happening today at the World Spotty Spot. Mm -hmm. they, they, they learn to play on the on the big golf courses, and then also what we do is we look at look for promising juniors, and if there's a, in a way that we can assist them, maybe somebody needs um, golf clubs or things like that. We consider that as well, but the most important thing is that we we want to encourage the game of golf in Swaziland. Yeah. And then when we have our sunshine tours here, the nomads do duties, uh, doing the scoring and doing you know, uh, all the things on the course together with the sunshine tour. Yeah. For that, Swaziland nomads gets paid money to do that. That money goes further to the furtherance of golf. So. You know, wherever we can get money to go, go into there, it's great because you know a lot of money is spent on soccer and all the other sports mm -hmm. things in Swaziland. I think golf is now starting to come right, especially with Mombutle, Lamini, and yeah. people like that showing Swazis can play golf. So I think there's some there's a lot of good talent out there that we need to nurture, and um, this is the way that we go about doing it. Okay. So with, with the juniors, um, what criteria is used to select the kids that have to join the program or it's just open for, for the general public? Oh no, the, the, it's it's open. The, the coach is going around throughout Swaziland, they go to the schools. No, anybody who's keen who wants to wants to play. So there's no criteria in the beginning at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's taking beginners, teaching them the golf and teaching them etiquette and teaching them how what you know what golf is all about. So there's no criteria there at all. No. From the first tee a drivable par 4 to the green. Mfundo takes the direct route. Ngosapayo Lamini follows suit. Blake William also drives the green, but Mfundo takes a conservative approach with an iron off the tee. Finding his ball right off the fairway, Glenizo's approach lands on the green. With only about 30 meters from the green, Mfundo chips it close for a birdie opportunity. A little strong from Pyre right there. Blake's second flies right into the bunker and plays it out well. Glenniso for birdie. Good roll. Easy par for him. Blake for par. Too short. Can he finish off his bogey? Oh no, he misses and walks away with a double. 
Mfundo for his birdie opportunity. No strength on the stroke. Rounds off the par. Easy tap in for Payo. Uh, tell us about the front nine. The front nine is finished to make it ready and not more pass. And four bogeys. Four bogeys. Yeah. You caught up with you on hole number one. Can you go through hole number one with us? I hit a four iron of the tee. Yeah. Went to the green for tee and two parted. For a par? Yeah. Right, but overall, are you happy with your performance today? I'm not at all because I played bad, very bad on that. Yeah. I hope you'll improve in the next tournament. Yeah, I hope so. All right, thank you. Um, that's to tell you the truth, the course was in the especially the course. The greatest level. And we caught up you on hole number one. Um, I think you played a part there. Uh, and then after that, what happened? Um, I was in the middle of the drive, so I was going left, right. I was going left. Talk us through hole number one. Um, I had a nice drive, then I had half pitching wedge onto the green, then I took part. And you took part of a part. Yeah. But overall, you said you're not happy at all. Yeah, I'm Hope you improve in the next tournament. Okay, thank you. Yeah, what's the how was your game today? Um, my game was fairly good. Um, I hit a couple of good shots and a couple of bad shots, but overall it wasn't bad. The game plan went accordingly, and yeah, not bad. Uh, not bad talk, talk us through hole number one, where number. we caught you on camera. Yeah. Um, yeah, talk us through the hole. Um, yeah, I hit a good drive into the first, um, into the first hole, and I had a fairly good shot but it was a bit over the green and I had a chip and a putt for par. For par? Yeah. But overall you you happy to perform? Yeah, not bad, not bad. But I just need to work on a few a few things. And then I'll be up to par. Alright, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Right. How was your golf today? My golf was pretty good, so I enjoyed it. It's been a month since I played because of my early injury. Okay. So you're from an injury and you think you did well? I uh, did well. I'm coming back after a month. So. Okay, we caught up with you on um, hole number one. Can you talk us through hole number one? Hole number one, it was a wrong decision to take a double because I went over the green and I made a double. And after that, I just made pass and uh, I shot, I shot two over the same. Oh, so you, you stand uh, a great chance of winning the tournament, do you think? Yes, I do. We catch up with an all girls for ball. Simangae Twala, Denise Ngambule, Kayla Zwane, and Butle Benkosi Zwane. The young girls try their best in this short hole, and luckily Coach Peter Lamini is on hand to give a few bunker tips. Believe it or not, Denise has a birdie putt, legs it nicely, and finishes off with a great par for five points. Now that's a strong part from Butle. My name is Denise Ngambule. I'm 12 years old, turning 13. I go to Mangwayane Primary School. How was your golf today? My golf today was fine. I think I did exceptionally well on my side. Uh, that is true. We caught up with you on hole number six. You played very well there. Can you briefly explain that hole for us? Okay, that hole is very short. That means it's quite easy to play. Okay. I was very happy when I scored. <laughs> so you, you, you played a par, eh? Yes. Which gave you how many points? I think we end up together again 12 points. Okay. Up ahead on hole 8, a trio of Panache Pukutu, Kimani Bembe, and Monges in Dombini. These three great two Sifunzani pupils seem to be having fun. Panache plays his second solid down the fairway. Kimani also plays his down the middle. shot by Kimani approaching the green in style. From off the fringe, 
Mongezi's parts runs fast past the hole. Kimani for power, not firm enough. Mongezi to round off his play. Misses and taps in a bogey. Kimani for bogey, coolly slots it in. Panashi, how was golf today? Uh, my golf was good. We, we had fun. I enjoyed playing golf and I uh, had fun. You had fun? Alright, thank you. Your name? My name is Mongezi. I school at Tifunzani. Uh, Mongezi, how was golf today? It was fun. I had fun playing. You had fun playing? Um, any birdies? You had a birdie? Yes. What hold? Hold five. Hold five. Good. Your name? My name is Kimani Bembe. I go to Sibunzani Primary. How was the golf today? My golf was good. I had fun. You had fun. Which hole do you think you had most fun? Hole number nine. Hole number nine. You didn't put it in the water? Yes. Okay. Thank you, boys. On to the back nine. Golf Union President plays alongside Vigelwa Makakula, Meli Zwemkize, and Kal Silekina. Meli scuffs his fairway bunker shot while Kal Sile narrowly misses trees on her second. Meli Zwe with the green on side sends down a good approach. like bunker play is the order on this four ball. They all attack the hole from outside. Vigelo with a long curly putt just misses the hole. Good read. Mkiza leaves it short as well. President lead by example, leaves it short. Finally, they get to hold in their balls. Uh, President, we see you part of the junior tournament today. Um, how did it go? Uh, well, Taribo, uh, it went all right. You know, the, the object of me uh, playing with the juniors was actually to, uh, to have a feel how they are performing so that uh, uh, I have uh, uh, enough information so that when we try to select a team, mm -hmm. I'll have an idea as well how they perform. So the juniors that I played with today, they played all right. Played all right. Um, we spoke with Kevin, who was representing the Nomads, uh, about the objective of the whole program. Um, as SGU, do you think the objective is being fulfilled? We are getting there. Uh, we are we are struggling because uh, we need the support of the parents as well. Okay. Uh, because uh, we have the clinics uh, every weekend, but most of the parents don't bring their children. So it's it's a slow, but it's getting there. It's getting there. Yeah. Um, because I think probably they think the parents is a very expensive sport and they have to pay a lot of money to bring the kids. Um, can you just explain, um, you know, the integrities towards bringing their kids to these clinics? Well, it's, uh, I would say that it's expensive at the moment because at the moment uh, we have the coaches which, uh, which uh, uh, we are being funded by the nomads uh, in, 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 in partnership with SGU. At, at the moment, 
it's only when when they've grown up and and, and they start uh, playing on their own mm -hmm. but once they, they they purchase the clubs then the clubs can last for 20 years you know so you buy the equipment just once mm. so the, the, we do we have uh, startup packs uh, for those who are beginners beginners okay so really i wouldn't say it's expensive yet okay. uh, for for them now it's actually not ex because it's all free of charge at the moment whatever they play uh, they pay a minimal fee a minimal fee yeah at the scenic 14 wakile lamini naem kalipi and maenzi washoke who plays a brilliant shot on the green Having to find their tea shots just a little shy from the drink, both Wakile and Naya play their second. A little strong by Naya, who eventually struggles to recover as his fourth attempt runs into the drink. Birdie packed for Maenzi doesn't read the line well. Same as Wakile, who drops in a disappointing five. Maenzi was par part still not online, but rounds off with a solid four on the scorecard. the results of the Junior Development Tournament. Taliban can call number 17, Mike Tungeli Monday. Uh, probably I'm playing Zali 12. Zali 12? Yeah, that was a part three. Oh, okay. I was telling you, I'm going to go hold number 12. I'm going to be president. I'm going to be the 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 but overall, I am very much Join us again next time as we look at golf activities happening in the country. Watch this show every Saturday at 4.30 p.m. on Eswatini TV. If you have missed it, follow our link at the YouTube channel Eswatini TV. Till we meet again.